guys, welcome to Kayak Central. My name is Brian Avram and today we'll be taking a look at the Advanced Frame Convertible Kayak by Advanced Solvents. Let's get into it. The Advanced Frame Convertible Kayak is a 15 foot kayak that supports tandem riders or singular riders. Let's open up the back. Open up the back, we'll see the kayak itself. Now this kayak comes in two colors. We have the orange, as we see here, but it also comes another green one. I'll pop an image right here. All right, let's take this out of the back. Setting up the kayak is quite simple. Simply unroll the kayak. Unfold it. And pump air into the inflation. For pumping up this kayak, I like to use the advanced elements double action hand pump. This comes with a PSI gauge and all the proper fittings to fit to your inflation valves. The first thing that we want to pump up is the main chamber. Pump this up halfway. We're going to be using this screw on valve right here. I'll put a picture on the screen. Simply attach it to your pump. Open the valve. Con screw this into the valve and pump until it appears half full. After pumping it up about halfway, we want to screw off the um, valve from the kayak and um, place the cap back on. Next, we want to pump up the floor. This requires a different valve. I'll pop it up on the screen. And we want to connect the pump to this tube right here. This tube will fill up the floor. Simply slide it in and start pumping. Pump only to one PSI. Do not go over the limit. Now we want to switch back to the screw-on connector. Connect this ground connector back to your main chamber. Now it's time to inflate the deck lifts. We, you want to be using the same connector as you did for your floor. Simply get the tube, fix in the connector, and it's gonna take about half a pump to one pump. Repeat this step for the second one as well. Now it's time to slide in the plastic inserts. Simply get the inserts and slide them right into the pocket. Do the same on the other side. Now it's time to inflate the floor. Simply get the connector as the same one as you did for the floor. Attach it to the nozzle and inflate to one PSI. Then using the Velcro, Align it with the Velcro inside the kayak. First, we'll set up as a tandem. The kayak comes with two seats that goes in the back and the front. Simply clip them into place.
configure it for one person paddling. The thwart is not needed for one person paddling. Simply put the seat in and attach it to the middle buckles. You are now ready to paddle in single. The kayak itself is very durable. No bending in the middle. And on the underside, it features a skeg and landing plates. The kayak is made up of three layers of puncture resistant material. The kayak itself is wide, making it hard to tip. And being this long, it is very stable and tracks very well. I paddled this kayak on oceans, lakes, and even some shallow rivers. It, it handled it remarkably. This kayak features D-rings for optional bungee deck lacings, paddle holders, front bungee deck lacings with clips. Another set of paddle holders and a unzippable canvas cover. With gear and the people, it could hold up to 550 pounds. Also, this kayak features a repair kit. I have not yet had to use this and I put my kayak through some serious rocky conditions. This goes right back in the back of the seat. The kayak also features a pressure relief valve found in the back of the floor. This is if the pressure exceeds one PSI, it'll leak out a little bit of air. I'll be making a video of a deck cover that is optional for this kayak. That's it for today on Kayak Central. My name's Brian Ingram. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, and turn post notifications on. I'll see you next time.